Joining me now from Simi Valley, California, editor of California Political News and Views and former executive committee member, Steve Frank. Steve, the Gilroy shooting. Um, it would have been nice if someone from California and leadership in the Republican Party came out and said, um, you know, talking about clips or guns, could have reminded folks that the uh, 2015 maniac in San Bernardino uh, shot up plenty of people and that California has had a, a restriction on the size of magazines for almost 20 years now. But really, it's, the, it's more of the universal um, messaging, the universal stories. Like when the rat story came out, there's rats all over Los Angeles a couple weeks ago, or the ongoing homeless problem in Los Angeles. Where is the unified, where is the singular Republican voice on these issues? Well, the voice is supposed to be the California Republican Party, Graham. Unfortunately, the state party has said nothing about rats, has said nothing about uh, the shootings, has none, done nothing about protecting the Second Amendment or standing up for the rights of people to speak uh, speak out and to protect themselves uh, with their Second Amendment rights. Our party has been silent, therefore they don't exist. There's a lack of uh, conservative leadership uh, within the Republican Party, but you are, are trying to change the dynamic. You're, you're at the vanguard of a voter registration program in California that is greatly needed. I don't know if a lot of uh, Americans know the voter registration makeup in California right now is 43 percent Democrat, 23 percent Republican, but 28 percent no party preference or decline to state. And, and these are people that you can target along with new voters. That's correct. And we've earned those numbers because in six and a half years, the state Republican Party has done nothing to register voters, have not spent a dime on voter registration. So if you don't ask people to join the party, they won't join the party. And so only volunteers are out there in the state party, which is responsible for getting our registration numbers up, is has done nothing. And they continue to do nothing, even though they understand that without good numbers, you don't get good quality candidates in a lot of districts. Why run in a district with 15 percent Republican registration if you're a great candidate, knowing the Republican Party isn't there for you? Now, you're a political operative. You've been doing so since Nixon. And so you, somebody like you, you can't just watch this happen. You can't watch the state slide away from the grip of the Republican Party. So you're actively trying to change those numbers, the voter registration numbers, correct? That's correct. I believe that leadership leads. And whether you have a title or not, that doesn't mean you can't be a leader. So I've been working with counties around the state, organizations and individuals that as volunteers have been going out to the DMV, to citizens' uh, 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 naturalization ceremonies, to the uh, box stores around the state, to fairs and festivals, registering voters as volunteers. We don't need the uh, CRP doing nothing. They are doing nothing, so why don't we do it? Speaking of nothing, uh, in the end, it's all about the Benjamins, as uh, Congresswoman Omar might say. It's all about the money. And if you look at the fundraising, uh, cash on hand for the both parties, Democrats at over $11 million right now, and look at the Republicans. But wh what's going on? Well, the Republican Party doesn't have anything to sell or any reason for people to... Uh, uh, to give money to them. You know, at the beginning of this conversation, we talked about the fact that the state party did not stand up for Second Amendment rights, support the president, uh, even speak out against the rats. So why would you give a, uh, a $5 bill or a $50 bill to a party that says and does nothing? You keep it for other things. You give it directly to the candidates, not to the party. And so you got to have this rapid response, but you also have to have a vision for California, right? Otherwise, you're defining insanity. There's got to be some sort of vision from the Republican Party of California right now to, to change the dynamic. Well, that's correct. And the state party has no vision. It has no views. They've just passed a platform in the draft. Uh, uh, committee that's similar to the platform passed in 215. Unfortunately, they're not going to be promoting it. They're not going to be discussing the fact that finally the state party is opposed to Proposition 14, the top two, that we believe that uh, marriage is between a man and a woman, and that we oppose the sanctuary state, which is part of the problem of the violence in our communities around this, this state that we have too many illegal aliens running loose, protected by the police, thanks to the state. Got to have a vision, and you've got to have a way to articulate it and in a reasonable way to implement it. And, and those components uh, appear to be missing overall in the Republican Party in California. Steve, thanks. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.